experience of Jacob, right? It's told in Genesis chapter 32. The Bible tells us there that he was returning home after 20 years in the house of Laban. And as he's nearing the promised land, he hears that his brother Esau is coming with 400 armed men and they have evil intentions of destroying Jacob and his family. The Bible describes Jacob and his family as being totally defenseless. They have absolutely no way of protecting themselves against an irate brother. And so the Bible tells us that Jacob feared that he and his family would perish. And so he goes off to the other side of the river and he starts pouring his heart out in prayer to God. And while Jacob is praying, suddenly someone comes and grabs him. And Jacob, at first at least, he thinks that this is an enemy. It might even be his brother. And so he starts fighting and he starts struggling with this being. And they struggle all night. And finally the Bible says that when the sun was starting to come up, Jacob realized that he was struggling all night with the angel of the Lord, who is none other than Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. And so the angel of the Lord said to Jacob, let me go, for the sun is rising. And Jacob grabbed onto him, and he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And the angel once again said, let me go, for the sun is coming up. And Jacob says, no way, I will not let you go unless you first bless me. Let me ask you, did Jacob exercise the patience of the saints? Did he have that kind of persevering faith that kept on coming and coming to God? He most certainly did. And then, of course, the Bible tells us that Jesus, the angel of the Lord, blessed him there and changed his what? Changed his name. In fact, let's read this passage. It's found in Genesis 32 and verses 24 to 31. By the way, do you know what the end time, time of trouble is going to be called? It's the time of whose trouble? Oh, why do you suppose it's called the time of Jacob's trouble? Because it's going to be similar to the experience of whom? Of Jacob. And he refused to let go of God's hand. God's people will refuse to let go of God's hand until they have the certainty of God's blessing. It says there in Genesis 32, 24, Then Jacob was left alone. Notice that he's there to anguish by himself. And a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip. Now did you notice that the angel did not prevail with Jacob? So what does the, what does the angel do? He touches the, the, the socket of his hip. And the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless him, bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Another way of translating it, you have overcome. Then Jacob asked, saying, Tell me your name, I pray. And he said, Why is it that you ask about my name? And he blessed him there. So Jacob called the name of the place. Now notice who he was wrestling with. He called the, the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Who was Jacob struggling with? He was struggling with God. Are God's people who go through the time of trouble going to be struggling with God in the midst of the worst suffering in human history, having lost everything, like the widow, destitute of human support? Absolutely. By the way, this period is described in Daniel 12 and verse 1, where it says, at that time, Michael shall stand up. Michael's a symbol of Christ. Michael shall stand up. The great prince who stands watch over the sons of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. And at that time, your people shall be what? Your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. 
Are God's people going to go through the tribulation? They most certainly are. It says that there will be a time of trouble such as there was never in the history of the world since there was a nation. But then it says at that time, in the time of trouble, God will deliver his people. And so the experience of Jacob foreshadows the experience of God's people in the end time. As Jacob refused to let go of the hand of God, so God's people re will refuse to let go of God's hand until he answer their, answers their pleas over their adversary.